What's up, Internet? It's your boy, Professor Django. Let's get a little bit nerdy. Always a pleasure to meet a Jedi. As hopefully you've already seen, my good pal Yoda Bauer has already made a video of everything you need to know before you see Star Wars The Last Jedi. So naturally, I thought I would follow up with seven things you definitely don't need to know before you see Star Wars The Last Jedi. Number one, huts are parthenogenetic. That's right, everyone's favorite race of gangster space slugs possesses the particular trait of being able to reproduce without a partner or intercourse. In fact, huts can biologically change their sex in order to suit their needs. All of this is, of course, what led to Jabba having his son and only his son, Rhoda, in Star Wars The Clone Wars. Number two, Star Wars had political dynasties. Chancellor Finnis Valorum, leader of the Galactic Senate during The Phantom Menace, was actually a part of a political dynasty of leaders. Think of them almost as the Kennedys or Bushes of the Star Wars universe. House Valorum had wielded political influence over the Republic and seen many of its members serve as Chancellor dating all the way back to the times of the Old Republic. Number three, Luke wasn't the only Jedi farm boy. In fact, the Jedi Order had four branches of what was known as the Service Corps of the Jedi Order. This was mostly a way for Jedi apprentices who couldn't pass their trials to still be useful to the Order by serving in either the Agricultural Corps, the Medical Corps, the Educational Corps, or the Exploration Corps. So contrary to the way things on Earth work out, you can be assured job security even if you fail out of school. Number four, Roll Call. In A New Hope, Red Squadron reports in in the following sequence during the battle against the Death Star. Red 10, 7, 3, 6, 9, 2, 11, and 5. Maybe they didn't teach math at Rebel Training School. Number 5. Surgeon General's Warning. According to the Alderanian Medical Association, inhaling the smoke from the carbon freezing process was a health risk. Too bad the Alderanian Medical Association wasn't around anymore to tell Han Solo that in The Empire Strikes Back. Number six, Holy Sheev. That's right, although many Star Wars fans are already aware of this due to its prominence in the new canon of books, the first name of Emperor Palpatine is Sheev. I just couldn't let a random facts video go by and not throw this one in there too. Number seven, Geography Lesson. The planet Naboo, seen in all three of the prequel films, had a diameter of precisely 12,120 kilometers. That's compared to Earth's 12,742 kilometers. Of course, we all know that size doesn't matter in Star Wars. And that's been Professor Django's seven things you definitely don't need to know before you see Star Wars The Last Jedi. Make sure that you stay tuned to Port Haven on YouTube for all of our news and coverage of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And be sure to remember to keep all your comments spoiler free. After all, snitches get stitches. Until next time, this is Professor Django, just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe.